premature ovarian insufficiency. Uh, it is defined as the clinical syndrome defined by the loss of ovarian activity in female aged less than 40 years. It is characterized by the amenorrhea or oligomenorrhea, estrogen deficiency, and elevated gonadotrophins. Prevalence is 1% for women less than 40 years and 0.1% uh, with women less than 30 years. Accounts for 10% of all cases of secretory amenorrhea. 80% have no identifiable cause. Causes of premature ovarian insufficiency include chromosomal abnormalities, 10% overall, 20% in primary amenorrhea, Turner syndrome, other X chromosomal abnormalities uh, with balanced translocation. Gene mutations can also cause premature ovarian insufficiency, including fragile X, that is FMR1, premutations, galactosemia. So galactosemia is also associated with premature ovarian insufficiency. Rare genetic single gene defects that are not uh, that are not a part of the routine testing are uh, no box FS, FSHR, FOX L2, DMP. 15, familial without, familial without identifiable genetic cause can also contribute to POI. Autoimmune diseases for less than 20%, hydrogenic with increasing frequency, in, uh, including chemotherapy, pelvic radiotherapy, and pelvic uh, surgery. Other causes include uh, enzyme deficiency, that is 17 hydroxy, taste deficiency, uh, infections, including mumps, and unknown in the majority of the cases. POI is the result of accelerated depletion of the ovarian germ cells. It is usually progressive and permanent. Although a remitting or fluctuating course is possible, the time resistant ovary syndrome is no longer used for this mild form of POI that gradually progresses to amenorrhea. Ovarian dysgenesis refers to severe form with early onset and early onset and Second, the amenorrhea. Clinical presentation include menstrual disturbance, oligomenorrhea, or amenorrhea, which may be primary or secondary. S symptoms of the estrogen deficiency, 75% of the female with secondary amenorrhea due to PUI report hot flushes, night sweats, mood changes, fatigue, dyspareunia. Symptoms may precede the onset of menstrual disturbance. PUI may have a fluctuating course with intermittent symptoms. Symptoms do not occur in primary amenorrhea. Relevant history includes previous chemotherapy, pelvic radiotherapy, or pelvic surgery. Family history is positive in 20% of the patients, autoimmune disorders, and screen for the signs and symptoms. Ovidian function can resume transiently, usually within a year of diagnosis, in idiopathic POI. Spontaneous pregnancies have been recorded in 5%. Autoimmune disease and POI. Autoimmunity underlies up to 20% cases of the POI. And in 10 to 40% of these, a second autoimmune disorder is present, including thyroid disease in 25%. So thyroid is uh, thyroid uh, disease is the most common association. Addison's disease in 10%, type 2 diabetes and myasthenia gravis for 2%. SLE is also more common. Autoimmune endocrinopathies, 60% of the female with APS1 um, can have a premature ovarian insufficiency. Likewise, 25% of the female with APS2 can also have premature ovarian, uh, premature ovarian insufficiency. So it is more common in APS1. Steroid cell antibodies are positive. Uh, steroid cell antibodies are positive in 60 to 100% of the patients with Addison's disease in combination with POI. So those patients who have uh, Addison's disease and steroids positive, the chances of having uh, premature ovarian insufficiency would be very high. The presence of the positive steroid cell antibodies in female with Addison disease confers a 40% risk of ultimately developing POI. Other ovarian antibodies have little predictive value. So this is a very important <coughs> predictive marker. So the investigations of UI diagnosis based on the menstrual history with biochemical confirmation. It is confirmed by the FSH greater than 30 milli international unit 
per liter on at least two occasions, at least a month apart. LH is also abated, but less than FSH. Serum estradiol levels are usually low. AMH is not recommended for the diagnosis of POI. Pelvic ultrasound is not required for the diagnosis as may show ovarian activity, which is associated with spontaneous pregnancy. Ovarian biopsy is not used. Test for the causation. Karyotype. Female with Y chromosomal material are at increased risk of gonadoblastoma and should be referred for the bilateral gonadectomy. Fragile X permutation screening. Identification of the carrier status is important for the family members. Autoimmunity screening. Test for the antibodies of thyroid, adrenal, parietal cell, and intrinsic factor. Ovidian antibodies are, are rarely positive as the test has a poor sensitivity. TSH free T4 um, can be uh, abnormal in 20%. Bone mineral density should be done as there is a risk of osteoporosis or osteopenemia. So the consequences of POI, infertility, osteoporosis, uh, neurological sequelae, and mortality is slightly increased. So this may be, uh, in, as far as the infertility is con concerned, this may be the most distressing part of the POI. Spontaneous pregnancy has been reported in 5%. So all women must be informed that pregnancy is possible, even though conventional fertility treatments are not effective. Osteoporosis, increasing the risk of fragility, is also common. POI is an independent risk factor for this ischemic heart disease, like other risk factors. There's increased risk of Parkinsonism, dementia, which is present in uh, these patients. Mortality is slightly due to the uh, due to cardiovascular and osteoporotic complications, reducing the life expectancy by two years in untreated POI. So the management of POI includes sex hormone replacement therapy. Then we have to take care of the fertility and psychology, and then there is a monitoring of the treatment. As far as the uh, uh, sex hormone replacement therapy is concerned, for a uh, uh, HRT is recommended in these patients. Exogenous estrogen is required to alleviate the symptoms and prevent the long-term complication of estrogen deficiency. Exogenous progestin is required for 12 to 14 days a month to prevent endometrial hyperplasia unless there is a history of prior hysterectomy. Standard doses of HRT may be sub-physiological for young female when initiating HRT, take into account the duration of amenorrhea. If the estrogen deficient, if the patient is estrogen deficient for greater than 12 months, start on the lower dose to prevent the side effects, titrate for full days by six months. Doses used in HRT are not contraceptive and do not suppress the spontaneous ovarian follicular activity. Women who do not wish to conceive may use combined OCPs instead of the HRT, as the HRT has a lower doses of estrogen and progestin. Estrogen deficiency symptoms can recur in a free pill, free, a pill free week. Low dose androgen replacement therapy may improve the fatigue and poor libido persisting despite adequate estrogen replacement. HRT should be continued at least until the age of 50 years. That's the mean age of the natural menopause. 5% uh, spontaneous fertility has been reported with POI. Egg donation is the only effective fertility treatment. Birth rate greater than 30% per cycle has been uh, reported. Hormonal therapy is required for endometrial preparation and early pregnancy support. Outcomes are poor in female with uterine damage after pelvic radiotherapy. Other treatments have not been shown to be effective. Uh, but the options include ovulation induction therapy, glucocorticoid therapy in autoimmune POI, FSH suppression. Fertility preservation can be offered to the female at high risk of POI, that is before the chemo or radiotherapy. The psychological impact of POI is significant, affecting the self-esteem and relationship, and the reactive depression is a common at diagnosis. Assess the adequacy of treatment by symptom control and bone mineral density, which, is, which should be done at the baseline measurement 
and it's then repeated every three to five years. Suboptimal bone mass may be due to combination of factors, including delay in initiating HRT, poor compliance with HRT, and estrogen underdosing.